Pisces, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. This is going to be for November 21st to the 30th. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. If you want to book your own reading, that link is in the description box below. We read energy, not gender. Um, so if it doesn't resonate, I could be picking up on the energy of anyone that's around you or any past energy that could still be affecting you. And if it still doesn't resonate, then it's just not your week. And feel free to check in at some other time. First card that we have is... Temperance card in reverse. That's odd because none of these cards are in reverse. So I'm still going to take it. Temperance card in reverse. The Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. The King of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Queen of Swords. And the Four of Wands. Okay. So whoever this King of Pentacles is in my Pisces life, I feel like this may be a continuation of a reading from, you know, maybe a couple weeks ago. Because this King of Pentacles has been showing up. This is someone who's a provider. Someone who has stability. Someone who has a lot of healing surrounding them. They could be... Um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or anyone that has earth in their chart. And whoever this person is, they do have a lot of stability surrounding them because we have the four of wands right below this card. So this tells me that this king of pentacles, whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, um, you could have a lot of stability around you or vice versa. The person that you're dealing with has a lot to offer, especially, you know, physically. They're financially independent. Um, they're not really struggling. They they know what they're capable of and they have their finances in order. So this in turn gives you a stable foundation and a stable home. There's some type of imbalance that's being brought to light. Whatever this imbalance is, it's what's been feeding, you know, it's what's been feeding, you know, the juggling feeling that you've been feeling. So some of you are juggling work and home life. Others are just, there's something that's going on with you that's not usually, you know, your norm. And this just shows you that you're out of alignment or out of whack in some sort. And this is being brought to light with the Hermit card. So if you're not dealing with the Virgo, this is all about introspection, doing some soul searching, going within to try to find answers. And after this introspective stage, you kind of come to the decision that, you know, hey, I'm kind of off balance. Whatever I thought was true may not be what's being brought to light with the mind, body, and soul. There could be something that you're doing physically, mentally, um, emotionally that is affecting you. And affecting, you know, your equilibrium as well. With the Wheel of Fortune, there could have been three people involved in the situation. They don't have to be. But with the F Wheel of Fortune, this is all about a turning point. Things are moving forward. And as things move forward after this soul-searching stage that you go to, it's going to point you towards this King of Pentacles. This could have been someone that you're dealing with in the past. While others, this is someone new that's going to walk in into your life after, you know, some type of turning point happens. Um, this person is going to come and try to give you some type of stability. But here you are coming out as a Queen of Swords energy. Defensive, um, a little bit harsh with your words. Yes, you stand in your truth. Yes, you stand in your power. Um, yes, you're very logical. And you tend to think with your mind rather than your heart. But at the same time, I do get very defensive energy off of this. I feel like you've been through a lot of hurt and pain to the point where it's made you... Either not be open to love or just be very restrictive with the people that come around you. Why? Because you want to maintain that foundation and that stability that you've had. I feel like the people in the past that you've dealt with have usually taken actions that go against the stability you're trying to form. So this has, in turn, made you create a barrier with people in which you don't let them in until, you know, they pass a certain test, until they pass, you know... Until you, know, until you know they're trustworthy, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But with the Chariot card, this is a Cancer card, all about moving forward relentlessly, moving forward past obstacles, um, and there could be some obstacles here. And mostly mentally, I feel like a lot of things that will affect you at this time will be at a mental level. These are restrictions that people won't really see on the outside, but it will exist inside of your mind. But as long as you know you're strong enough to move past them, as long as you're strong enough to work on these imbalances, I feel like things will be okay in the end. But you are doing some type of juggling energy, some type of teeter-tottering energy. Some of you are dealing with two people, a select few of you 
are dealing with two people and you're trying to make the decision about who it is that's going to be best for you. I, I feel like you should go with the person that provides you with the most stability, the person that provides you with the foundation that you're looking for. But at the same time, you have to be careful with this juggling energy because, you know, this could come back to you in some type of way for those of you that are juggling. But for most of you, I see you're only dealing with one person or at least considering dealing with one person, but being so defensive to the point where you might, you know, chase someone off that definitely has the potential to give you what it is that you're looking for. So be careful. Um, let's get another deck. That way we can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. Why is the Temperance card in reverse? Because of the Page of Swords. There's some type of communication block going on. Some issues with inner healing that are interfering with something. Um, or it could just be a child. For some of you, this is a son that is bringing some type of imbalance to your life. Daughter or son, it doesn't matter. But pages are usually someone that are in their 20s or under. And with the Ace of Swords, after you do this soul searching and you kind of go within to kind of just review how everything's been going and how you've been moving forward, something's going to be brought to light. You're going to have some type of revelation, some type of like clarity of truth, and this is going to help you bring things to perspective. But I feel like after this, you might find out the fact that, you know, maybe I put myself out in the cold. This Five of Pentacles is usually recovering from, you know, a, a broken heart or just recovering from feeling like you're taken for granted. But I feel like you may have actively made the decision to throw someone off the wheel. Um, and whoever this person is, hopefully it's not the King of Pentacles. And, you know, you don't have to try to mend this connection. But someone here made the active decision to throw themselves out of the connection. There's a lot of hope when it comes to this King of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, the divine has sent them to you to try to mend and heal your heart in some type of way. Some of you are rejecting it or just very resistant to whatever that may be. I feel like you guys are making up like... It's almost like you're looking for something to be wrong with this person so that you can shun them off and kind of just ward them off as like not worth your time. But I don't feel like that's what's going on here. With the Two of Pentacles... Someone in the past may have betrayed you, stabbed you in the back over and over again. This was, you know, repeated patterns that was going on. And I feel like this is what's causing you to hold back and kind of want to restrict yourself because you do still do have some type of healing to do. But I feel like this person, this King of Pentacles, is meant to come in to help you heal uh, from what it is that you're going through because they have been sent. Like, it's not like they just you know, took an interest in you. I feel like the divine has sent this person specifically to try to bring you stability. With the two of pentacles though, you have to try to put an end to this juggling act or this imbalance because it may end up chasing someone away that, you know, has potential to give you what it is that you're looking for. With the seven of cups, you have a lot of options available to you or you will. Um, but these options may bring you confusion in the future. And only one of these cups is going to bring you the victory that you seek. It's the one that has a wreath. Um, a victory surrounding it so be careful if you do have options for those of you that are trying to choose between two, two different people because if you are choosing between you know a, an earth sign and an air sign whoever this queen of swords is in regards to the two options that you have this person yes they have a lot of passion for you yes it might be fun for and it could be maintained for some time but this isn't something that has long-term potential and in the end you could be you could be feeling like this recovering left out in the cold, feeling taken for granted, you know, like your love wasn't appreciated, so be careful when it comes to choices. And as well as this Four of Wands is all about an awakening. There's some type of awakening that you're going to have, which has to do with this truth or this clarity that you may be the person that's stopping yourself from the love, the stability, and the life that you're looking for, simply because either you don't want to give someone the chance or um, because there's some type of imbalance going on within you which in turn is going to kind of be an obstacle to you finding what it is that you're looking for. Let me get you another deck for best advice. So best advice moving forward. Actually, I'm going to use this Oracle deck to see if there's any additional messages. And then I'll pull some from the tarot deck itself. First card that we have is intention. So be careful with your intentions. Set your intentions right now, um, especially if you want to have the progress that you're looking for. And as soon as I said progress, look, this comes out in reverse. So I feel like all of the healing and the work that you've been doing, there's a potential for it to be like rescinded for some reason, either because you're trying to go against 
there's something that you're being hard-headed about and it's kind of halting your progress as far as the healing that the divine is trying to provide to you so be careful with that you don't want to like you don't want to block any blessings is the vibe that I'm getting. So with this, we have give back, and this is in reverse. So you could be feeling stingy at this time where you don't want, really want to share your energy with anyone. Um, and commit to happiness. This is something that you need to do is commit to a path of where, you know, you're willing to find your happiness regardless of what it is that, regardless of what obstacles come in the way. And alternative, I feel like there's an alternative option available to you that you need to make. Like, there isn't just one way of doing things, and you just need to broaden your perspective in a way where um, you kind of just don't block certain blessings from you. With the intention, I feel like you might need to start your days off with setting your intentions as far as, you know, what you're trying to do, what your goals are. And this is showing up to remind you that you are always protected and loved. And so... Just be aware of your intentions, your thoughts of things at this time, um, because the energy is very strong right now. I feel like what you think about is what you think about, and that's going to be you know significant right now as well. With the progress card in reverse, this is all about self-growth and healing, rejuvenation, and so the fact that it's backwards lets me know that there's been some type of halt in that. Maybe it's because you are in that hermit energy, but if not, just try to carry on in your spiritual development. Um... Try to see the world around you from a different perspective, which is what I was telling you earlier. And with this give back as well, um, could be feeling really stingy at this time, but you know, it's more of just the energy of trying to protect yourself because you're going through something right now. And so giving back does not have to be difficult. Sometimes you can volunteer with your family members and your friends. Um, that way you can, they can benefit from you trying to give back to them as well. So you don't always have to go to, you know, homeless shelters to help. Try to just be kind to the people that are around you. And once you commit to your happiness, I feel like things will be much easier as far as what it is that you are attracting to you. Because I feel like there are some things that you do where they kind of like comfort you in the moment. But in the long haul... Um, it, you end up setting yourself back in some type of way. So it's difficult to feel happy like when you're tense, when you're depressed, or when you're overtired. And sometimes you may feel lost or want to give up hope. But this is telling me that you just need to continue walking in your path and things will align as they should. Um, work on balancing your chakras if you can. Specifically, your heart chakra is blocked because I do see a lot of green in this. So try to wear green, eat green foods. Um... Use green color if you can. There's something going on with your heart where you're not really able to receive love the way that you should. As far as alternative, there's another choice available to you. You know, things don't have to be as difficult as you're trying to make them be. So kind of just accept the help that's available to you. That's the end of your reading. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.